Hi, in this video we are going to talk about different flight modes and also we are going to give you a practical overview of them. So let's get started. In the position hold flight mode, the drone maintains its constant location using a GPS just like in a elevator flight mode. But to arm a drone in a position hold flight mode, your GPS must have a 3D lock and HDOP must have dropped less than 2. So basically this position hold flight mode is just like a elevator flight mode, it holds the constant location of your drone, whether it's altitude or it's yaw axis, roll axis or pitch axis. Brake flight mode is a very simple flight mode. It just uses the information of our later flight mode and this flight mode also requires a GPS. The brake flight mode will suddenly stop your drone where it was. So if your drone was flying from a A point to a B point and your drone is somewhere in the mid means a C point. So when you will put your drone into a brake flight mode, it will suddenly stop there and it will maintain its location by using the GPS of our drone. All the pilot controls are ignored in this brake flight mode and if you want to take back the control of your drone, you just need to change your flight mode from a brake flight mode to another flight mode. In the circle flight mode, the drone orbits around its center. The roll axis and the pitch axis is manually controlled, while yaw axis is automatically controlled. We can also control the altitude of our drone manually. This flight mode does not require any GPS. The circle flight mode is especially required in the photography. So here the yaw angle is automatically controlled. So the nose of our drone while doing the rotation is faced towards the center. Open your mission planner software, connect your flight controller and go to the standard parameter setting and then search for circle. You will receive the three settings for circle. Circle radius determines at what radius your drone will circle. Means you can have a radius from about 2 meter to a 2000 meters means 2 kilometer circle radius. It's up to you how much value you put into it and that value will be executed after writing parameters means saving the parameters. The circle rate determines at what speed or degree per second your drone will circle. Here you can have a negative value and also a positive value. Negative value for counterclockwise circle and positive value for clockwise circle. You can have maximum 90 or minus 90 value. In the first setting that is shown in this video, you can have the option of manual control or you can put the setting of of your nose towards the center or you can have the setting that your drone should start a circle from a center rather than a perimeter. So these settings can be manipulated manually 